Uh, Senator Jim DeMint joins us right now from South Carolina. Uh, Senator, um, the president seems to be saying tonight, I I'm going to still stick by health care. Obviously, it might not be as big as the health care as he envisioned or uh, the Waterloo that maybe you envisioned. Uh, but, but, but how would you describe his, his approach, that he doesn't want to give up? Well, Republicans, Neil, are, are looking for some areas we can work with the president on, and we hope it will be on jobs and cutting spending and debt. And now, as I look through the excerpts of what he's going to say, it seems like he's trying to have it both ways. He's going to talk about stopping spending and debt, but uh, at the same time, we're raising the debt limit over a trillion dollars, and he's proposing major reforms in education, energy, the financial area, as well as continuing with health care reform. Uh, we can't have it both ways. I think we could create a lot of jobs if we just focused on broad-based tax cuts and stop talking about so many changes that create the uncertainty that so many people feel right now. All right. Now, uh, nevertheless, I do not get a read as I was uh, passing along to my uh, colleagues, uh, Rich Hudson and Peter Barnes, that this president is pulling a Bill Clinton. That, in other words, he is not uh, triangulating or whatever the heck you guys call it or doing any of that. He is, he is in fact, emboldened a little bit uh, to say, look, uh, maybe, and I'm paraphrasing here, the, the message got muddy, but the message is sound. Um, and that is, keep the government, keep these spending initiatives going. Maybe we don't call it stimulus, maybe we call it jobs creation type things, yeah. but, but, but that stays. What do you make of that? Well, I hope it's not just a rhetorical switch here and he continues to push these massive FDR-like policies because the American people have been pretty clear that they don't want any more of this nonsense. There are things we can do like well, small business well, but, health but plans. Well, but Senator, he, he's going to do that. I mean, he's going to do that. Well, uh, it's not going to work out. I mean, we're going to push small business health plans because that helps jobs. It gets more people insured. Things like interstate competition or tax cuts to promote jobs. There are things we need to do on energy independence that could keep more money in our country. But we need to do it a step at a time, Neil, rather than these massive programs and backroom deals. Uh, people are not only frustrated with the policy, but as you know, they're real frustrated with the process. All right, Senator, thank you very much. Always good having you. Appreciate it.